So what up guys, it's your girl Amanda Meeks and I am back with more Black Sails! Still fucking mad! Still fucking mad. Alright, um... So if you're enjoying anything on my channel, gameplays, reviews, reactions, wherever I got going on, go ahead and subscribe! I'm here, you're here, let's be here together, and I'm still fucking mad. Alright. <laughs> so last time, um, some fuck shit got Mr. Scott shot. After we found out that he has a whole ass family and island of, of, it's not even just like black people. It's mostly black folks, but then you see like the light skinned, white skinned people running around too. But they were just escaping. They were escaping from the bullshit and they are all there. And now Mr. Thomas is shot. Mr. Thomas, Mr. Scott is shot. And what are we going to, what are we going to do? I'm just sad. Sad. Fuck this shit. Sad. <sighs> so, and then we have Flint's crew. It's, they're still captured. I'm going to use this loosely because I don't know what they're planning on doing now. Like, this whole situation is about to pop off in the worst way. Um, and then you have Vane and Teach out on the seas. They used a fireboat trick to escape the Royal Navy because uh, they realized why Charles Vane was the only one that could not get a universal pardon. And they found out that Eleanor is on the ship. <clears throat> so we have that. I don't know where Max is. We have Jack and Anne trying to figure out what to do, if they're going to go anywhere, where they're going to go. And I think that is all. Horner Gold and Fake Two Frames, still some assholes. So on that note, we're going to go ahead and jump into episode five, season three of Black Sail. If you join me now, what if I resented you for the same reason? Or would I be throwing away? You can't see it yet, can you? You are not alone. Is it the walrus behind him? That is a king. Holler for Mr. Scott. No, I don't care about this. Go back. Go back. He's so mad. He's so sad. He's so smad. My fourth wife, Constance. Sweet girl. Bright. She had her notions. A cricket in the house means good luck. A moth in the house, bad. And the bed. Jesus, the bed. <laughs> no hats on it. No brooms near it. Although it's been six years since I've seen her face. To this day, if I, if I see a broom by a bed, I, I have to move it. And it's far harder to dispose of the marks than the woman who left me. You think I'm having second thoughts? No. I'm leaving now, so. You think At you're taking a little, bit of, left on me. a little bit of, a little bit of Elmer with you. I know that you're conflicted about what you have left behind. You left the room. <laughs> she looking at you like, bitch, try it. They say you are dead. They say you were defeated by Captain Honeygold. They only truly ever have half the story, don't they? It's fallen. Hasn't it? The pardon was offered. And it brought down our defenses without a shot being fired. But it was all he and Captain Teach could do to escape. Teach? Teach was there on the island. Uh -huh. He was. But he and Captain Bain slipped away with most of the men and ships that might have been willing to resist the occupation. I could not leave my wife and daughter 
in harm's way. So I secured them passage here. It was smaller then, disorganized, but it was far more remote than other camps like it. Safer. Once Eleanor was ready to assume control, I encouraged it so that I might manage the survival of both places outside <sighs> the scrutiny of either. Fucking amazing. For as long as I have known you, you've been two wholly separate men. They must find a way to steal what they need to live. They must learn this skill fast and well, lest it lead them to be discovered here. And they will need help to do so. You'll help. You better help! You don't fucking help, dude. I'm fucking done with this! The partnership? I'm done. You said that. With Nassau gone, we lost a vital supply line. We would go out on the account, hunt for them, using this place as a hidden base for operations. I will put the case as best I can. Talk no jutsu time! I feel that it isn't happening. Then I get in close to the queen. I make it clear that either everyone on this crew is released with a guide to take them safely back to the beach, or the queen dies within days of the king. Wait. Any news from the fort as to Captain Rackham's whereabouts? I'm told he and Anne Bonnie fled before our arrival. Uh, their whereabouts are unknown. What about Max? And nobody's asking about Max? Like, nobody? Why? Spain may be appeased, but the street is still an open question. If you want me to help you play that game, I need to know where all the players are. I see. And when do you presume this game begins? Now. It already has. It has. Yep. I am, once again, a citizen of the British Empire. Mm hmm Congratulations. And your profession. Y'all look like cousins. I sincerely hope this doesn't diminish your attraction to me. Move aside! Right, coming through. Step aside. <laughs> I don't understand why you're looking so mad for her. The governor is going to announce today the formation of a governing council. Twelve seats. Six filled from his ranks. Six filled from merchants native to the island. It will signal the governor's clear intent to give the people of New Providence Island a meaningful say in their own futures. And we would like you to bless it. I am sorry, are you offering me a seat? No. Oh, okay. Then no! Chosen and yours is not among them. The first thing he asked me to do was to identify pirate ringleaders on the island. Organizers. And you named me? Undermined my reputation with him before you abetted the practice. You signed articles, for Christ's sakes. You held a share in an active crew. What I have done so thoroughly pales in comparison to what you did before me. And I lost everything for it. You should know. People do not speak to me that way anymore. Be smart. Was I on that list? The night I was taken, did you inform Hornigold where he could find me? Mm. This whole thing, I don't know what Max is going to do. She can't stay there. They're not going to respect anything she says, whether or not... She's been like running the island. <laughs> I love when he takes out his gun and starts shooting people. Are you really like fighting, fighting with this guy right now? Oh, my God. 
Thank you. Un último trago. Alice. Captain. What the fuck he saying? Give me some rum. Oh, okay. He understands. You think that this is something you can ignore? It isn't. She's strong. She's gonna ignore the hell out of it. I said I would hear him. Black Mob 101. Anything. She's listening, but she don't give a fuck. I need you to listen. <laughs> I'm telling you. I understand that you think that Flint is the answer to all of it. I would like to tell you that I agree. If for no other reason than to appease you so you can rest. I'm telling you, she don't give a shit. But, but state I don't in, give a the shit. The one thing I swear I will not do is lie to you. I will hear him. I will look in his eyes while he tells me that he can be trusted to be a partner to us. But if I, for a moment, doubt him. She's like, I'm gonna listen, but I don't give a you fuck. trust me to make this decision. <sighs> That's Black Mom 101. Her face is just making me, like, upset. <laughs> but tell your little friend to come on in here. Shall I come back? And tell me what you need to say. Come. She listen to you. No. I, I could told you that. You? <laughs> Those men, they are your life. I wanted to know it. At least a little. No. Oh, that's true. He's been over there. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. Don't tell me. Don't say that shit. Don't say that shit and then don't mean it because that shit's disrespectful. It's disrespectful to my feelings and it's disrespectful to my black father and I have black daughter feelings and I'm not about to sit here and be like this shit's okay because it's not. Bruh. Nah. <laughs> 